Drooby Doobie Movies, Judas Cinema Closet, JT the Talking Head, Teo the Terminurtle, Zedzilla Movies, Masters of Matinee, Everybody, I'm Judas over at Cinema Closet, and you are the sons of bitches that I can't remember the names. <laughs> You're doing great, Judy. Just keep going. <laughs> oh, well, since I already insulted you to your face, why don't you stay and listen to this awesome episode two podcast of season two, <laughs> Masters of Matinee? <laughs> What? All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm keeping this in. Just keep going. <laughs> Join us today as we are talking with JT the Talking Head and Zedzilla. I don't really know what about. They just invited me tonight and said, episode, get on. Here Accurate. we are. Accurate. Accurate. How, how have so, you been, Judas? That's right. I have been great. <laughs> lots of movies, great start of the year, lots of cool trailers drop, you know, it's been a good start. Can't complain. Did you see Zedzilla's trailer reaction to the new movie Abigail? We're not going to talk about that too much. we we'll talk about that in the next episode, but have you seen his trailer reaction to that? Which one? For Abigail. No, I don't think I did. I think the last one I watched was his reaction to Orion in the Dark. You need to go watch it soon because he did such a good job. Our little guy did so good. Oh, I'm so proud of him. I was such a little guy. I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so happy. I'm just so happy to be here to witness that. I'm just, it's just so good. I, uh, yeah next so that's a good question though like out of all the movies that are coming out in 2024 what are the ones that are actually like looking really good to y'all the new godzilla um deadpool 3 deadpool 3 which the first trailer for deadpool 3 comes out the super bowl Ooh, so that would be does a it. fun one that's a fun one we're gonna going to be getting a well i almost i don't know if it's spoilers or not i feel like the internet knows by now right they have to right i think so i mean it's kind of impossible to have not heard by now that hugh jackman is back as wolverine and uh this is the you know this is now the 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 introduction <laughs> of a lot of the fox universe into the mcu it's the very first r-rated marvel studios movie and uh it may be ryan reynolds last as deadpool there's plenty of stuff about that movie if you if you uh, sorry i was just wondering is zed gonna hold a dvd copy of the meg for the entire episode what are you talking about nothing uh do you really think that that ryan reynolds will be done with deadpool i mean like if if Hugh Jackman if Hugh Jackman can can portray Wolverine for all those movies, surely Reynolds can go more than three. I, don't I feel think like Reynolds will let it go. Yeah, I, I feel like there's way too hard to get it. Well, I feel like there's like th there's like so much of a of a like competition between Ryan and, and Hugh that like they would they were they are definitely the kind of people that would like Ryan Reynolds would be like, well, well I can do. It. I can do this way, the superhero shit way longer than you, Hugh. I can fucking do this. I can, I can do this. From what I've heard, he sort of wants to go out with his friends. I could see him appearing in the next two Avengers movies because they're going to be big crossover movies, but I don't see him doing Deadpool four. Um, because by the time that comes out, he's going to be, you know, entering his fifties and or, or you know in his early 50s rob Downey jr yes was playing iron man into his 50s but he was also on a glorified green screen the entire time so ryan is you know doing a little bit more doing a little more practically a lot more of his own um stunts and and choreography and stuff like that 
I could see him sticking around past Deadpool three, but I don't think he's going to carry over into another trilogy of Deadpool movies. Maybe not a trilogy, but I could, I could see a, a four. I tell you the biggest thing that I want, and I think Judas would probably agree with me. I want a new Deadpool game and I want Ryan Reynolds to voice Deadpool this time. That would be great. As long as it's done by a studio that knows what they're doing. The last Deadpool game was atrocious. Okay. A, I think it's actually underrated. It was really fun. It was short, sweet and to the point. It was a little bit buggy, but they did end up fixing a lot of the bugs. Um, but I say, fuck, give it to insomniac after their Wolverine game. Somniac. Now that's a fucking dream team. They always make bangers left and right. So I agree. They would do awesome. Um, yeah, is it well Insomniac wouldn't do that. The only reason problem I had with the Deadpool game is it just seemed like it was kind of like an arcade game. Like you could have just thrown that in an arcade and had people pay quarters to play it, because there's really no I mean it had a story, yes, and it wasn't hard though. It wasn't very you didn't get many upgrades or anything. There wasn't much to it, it felt. It was just your basic hack and slasher with Deadpool comedy, which was awesome. Funny as hell. Fun to play one through, but I don't know. It felt like Deadpool has a lot to it that they could have done such a crazy game for. Is that the game that's voiced by Nolan North? That's a good question. I have no idea. I I, yeah, I mean like I know of one game. Deadpool game. And that's the only one I can think of, but I don't know what the, the studio. Three, yeah, I think there's only like one, maybe two Deadpool games. It is Nolan North Zed. It is Nolan North. See, very good. That game I thought was really well uh, received. Like I remember a bunch of kids at school, and uh, even like my mom's ex-husband and my little brother playing it together and having a boatload of fun. Like I, I thought that was a very well received game. It wasn't, I don't think it was critically received though. Oh, I don't know. I thought it was from what I've seen of the game, like through videos, let's plays, you know, I thought it was a lot of fun. I don't know. I, I, I suppose I, I feel out of the loop here cause I'm just not the gamer out of the three of us. It's definitely become a cult following after when it first came out, um, you had all the Deadpool fans grab it and they loved it, of course. It's a Deadpool game, finally. But the people that were like gamers like me and some other people saw all the bugs in it and had fun with it, but it was eh. Then after a while it got ever it just got it dropped down since the gamers were critics and all that. They dropped it down. But after a while it became a cult following and now it got picked up and now it's like a sixty dollar game if you can find it. Yeah, it's not a problem. And people do play it. It would be perfect honestly it would be on brand for ryan to voice deadpool in a movie tie-in game and bring back a lost art of movie tie-in games but also have it be for deadpool and just have him be very like self like he he knows he's in a game he knows that he's in a movie tie-in game and that could be a lot of fun it would be a silly it would be silly and i think that advertising it that way marketing it that way would be would be really good for it yeah in the in the 2016 game like deadpool knew that he was in a video game and he would talk to the player and everything uh yeah, looking at the cool. metacritic of this game it was a 62 meta score and a 7.4 review score so a decent game well 7.4 is is like it's a it's a i consider 7.4 a good game like it's it's yeah. not like astonishing but it's you know Evan's, Evan's the average of ten. Yeah, yeah. It's a it's a above average video game. It's it's fine. It, it was fun. Speaking of video games. You, did you see that your your favorite series is coming out with a new game? Which one uh, of us is you? The Yakuza. The only oh one that yeah. Plays video games Not Minecraft two. <laughs> I wouldn't be so fucking surprised if Minecraft 2. I would be. I'd be rolling in my grave. I'd be like, no. Updates for life. I'm not paying it for another 20 bucks. I gave you 20 bucks like 10 years ago. Stop being greedy. <laughs> uh, yes, a new one actually just released. Uh, the Man from Nowhere. I th- No, it's not yeah. The Man from Nowhere. The Man no, that's a- Who Erased His Name, maybe that's what it's called. I, I See, I'm very far behind. I've, I'm only, I'm on Yakuza 5. Um yeah. And then Yakuza 8, like a Dragon 8, is coming out 
uh, yeah, that was the one I was talking about. Like a dragon. later on this year, it was really weird how they made. I haven't played seven, but it was really weird how they made seven because they made it a turn based game, like the old school Final Fantasy games. That is weird. I've yeah. never seen a Yakuza in turn base. Huh. Yeah. So like Yakuza seven was like that. Yakuza eight will be like that. And then all of the spin off games that like the Judgment and the new, I think it's called the man who erased his name. Um, I can't remember exactly, but uh, that those are the old school beat em up Yakuza style. Um, but but yeah, the newer ones are turn based. It's kind of crazy. I've heard it works well though. Surprisingly, do you have something you want to say there, Zed? I feel I like you want to share something with the class. What kind of movies you guys are excited for for this year? You know, I'll tell you, uh, I'll tell you uh, ones that I can watch. <laughs> no, well, well, certainly, of course. Do you have any aspirations to maybe get out to the theater? Is there any release that you've been looking forward to that's been pushed back? Are you do you like the first Dune movie? Are you excited for Dune two? Yeah, Dune two. I just I just I, watched the first Dune. It it was amazing. So, uh, shout out to Ruby's Doobies movies because uh, that's like his <laughs> jam. Right. I mean, look, we all can't get to the theater as much as Drew. That's that's that's, that's an improbability. That's just not going to happen. The the boy has a bunk somewhere, right? He has a hammock. He's strung up. It's insane. But there's not a single movie out there that you've been like, oh, hell yeah, this is 2024. It's about time. Like, for me, I'm excited for all the Universal Monster stuff coming out. I'm looking forward to some of the uh the new animated flicks from like pixar and dreamworks what are we looking at uh i'm looking to you know i it yeah you, you could go you go jt yeah i'm having to look up movies that are releasing in 20 no, i'm just kidding i'm actually really excited for the furiosa mad max saga that's supposed to be happening this year really hope it does because i absolutely love just watched mad max last night actually for a role for review um that was fun. I'm excited for the new Kung Fu Panda 4, to be honest. Call me Shadow, I don't care. That looks amazing. No <laughs> and the new startup to uh, Planet of the Apes. That's oh, that's really freaking yeah, cool. Yeah, that one looks cool. I didn't think we were going to get another one. I was like, all right, cool. We got the awesome little trilogy. I'll let it die. Guys, one. The, the, the biggest news ever. They're making... Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, too. Oh, no. Biggest news is the Ooh. day they released Mickey Mouse's name, we got the trailer for his horror film and a bunch of other stuff. Games. I mean, it's crazy. It went wow. crazy. There's a new Silent Hill want. movie coming out. Return yeah. to Silent Hill. There's also, uh, I, I know you guys aren't too, too big on musicals, but I love me. I, I'm a big musical person, but apparently we're supposed to be getting a movie adaptation of wicked this year too oh yeah desi's uh desi's been really looking forward to that one yeah it's gonna be fantastic i cannot wait for it i'm gonna Ooh, remake uh, that movie singing in the rain and it's just gonna be called walking in the rain and i'm not gonna sing at all what it's just gonna be that's judas that's... walking around in the rain he's a very wet boy the that's hair just the just final episode of wet. how you how i met your mother that's just the final uh, episode. Uh, <laughs> so, that's it um, walking and talking maxine is coming out assuming that uh <laughs> she doesn't <laughs> kick any more people in the head on the way to the fucking box office jesus right yeah yeah that is... <laughs> there's also there's a ton of movies going into production this year that are exciting uh like like this year the the starting of superman legacy um the start of a bunch of new universal monster movies like the wolfman bride of frankenstein Guillermo del toro's frankenstein there's just a bunch of stuff that's heading uh are like starting up this year or heading to theaters this year uh planet of the apes kingdom of the planet of the apes i am so excited that video that i made a trailer reaction is one of my favorite videos i've ever made and it's one of the most inaccurate fucking videos I've ever made because I made so many false claims. Like I knew what I was talking about and I felt like I connected so many pieces together and then news comes out. Hey guys, we're hundreds, thousands of years in the future. And we're like, what, what, 
Like, yep, this this is this is generations after Caesar's reign. Like, this is a whole new kingdom. And yeah. that's crazy. I'm so excited. Sure, I'm getting tired yet, Zed. From doing what? Um, you know what else looks really good is Argyle. Have you guys seen the trailer for Argyle? Argyle does look yes, good. Yes, the, the new uh Henry Cavill movie. <laughs> I oh love my it. goodness. Yeah. That's so, yeah, after watching the Golden Circle and all that. I'm I'm all for it. The Golden Circle. Yeah, didn't he do the Kingsman movies? Mm, no, he was in uh Fall. Like, he was oh, no, not, Fall. not Henry Cavill. I just meant the guy who did Argyle. Oh, I think the director possibly, yeah. yeah. Maybe. I can't remember who the director is of those movies though, but he has like a he's super uh he, like, didn't he do kick ass maybe as well i can't remember now oh my god all my movie knowledge is is gone i am white can't remember though you are they're making what about, um a red sanja movie What's that'd that? be cool uh it's like the female version of uh sonia yeah oh red sonia oh i see oh yeah well sonia sanja whatever what you know what Jeremiah T. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, what? Yeah. And then, but we're also getting like, uh, what was that? Inside Out 2. Inside Out 2. That looked that good. That one, I still haven't watched the trailer yet. It's introducing Maya Hawk as, I think, Anxiety? If that's if I'm not she, mistaken, she had it might be, but all of a sudden, well, you haven't seen the trailer. I don't want to fucking tell you. Never mind. Yeah, I watch the trailer. That, that's I, I'll watch it sometime. I, there's a lot of trailers I have not seen. And after it gets past a certain point, I feel like I cannot watch it. Like I haven't watched the Godzilla X Kong: A New Empire or the New Empire. Tra- I have not watched that trailer because I'm like I'm gonna watch the movie anyway. Of course, I've been spoiled to a lot of stuff in the trailer just through images. Spoiled um, from the toys I've been walking through and finding shit. Dude, there's <laughs> so many toys, and finally Kong looks good. I don't own any Kong toys from uh, Godzilla vs. Kong because every product they put out looked horrible for Kong. It looked nothing like him, but now he he looks fucking awesome. And then, and then there's the Scar King and Shimo, I think is what it's pronounced. Was there? Um, oh, yeah. Shimo. Shimo is essentially like. So there's the Scar King who is like the antithesis, antithesis, whatever that word is for Kong. And then there's Shimo who is the all father of, of the, the, the giant lizard. So he's like, he's the all father. And uh, he's the antithesis to Godzilla. Question for the oh. Zilla man here. Do you think we'll ever see crazy things like Space Godzilla or Robozilla or anything like that ever again? Mecha Godzilla, probably. I think well, we'll, I think we'll definitely see Mecha Godzilla. We'll, we, we have seen in the MonsterVerse, as in this toy right here, he's in the movies, he's in Godzilla uh, versus Kong. We might see Mecha Godzilla again. But it's a big if, if you've seen the movies, the big if, but it's a possibility, I suppose. I was going to say, um, I shouldn't be asking questions since I haven't seen all the movies. Yeah, yeah I same. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't foresee us going to space any sooner than the fact. No, 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 no. He, he, he comes to us, all right? You don't go to space, Godzilla. Space Godzilla comes to you. Oh, very good, very good. Well, we did have an alien from space in the form of King Ghidorah. Uh, that's, that's true. But, you know, Wait, we have did not... Did you say in the not, form of King Ghidorah? Spoiling the movies for me. What the hell does that mean? I mean, King Ghidorah is an alien. And he <laughs> is... Son of a bitch! Earth, and he is, he is here on Earth. And that's the movie. Um, you should have just told me King Ghidorah <laughs> is President Trump. What? In disguise. No, no, I, yeah. I, I, I foresee the monster verse in the future to really focus on Kong and Godzilla for another couple of years until they get ballsy enough to really branch off. 
But as of right now, those are the breadwinners, and Godzilla versus Kong didn't get to go to theaters, so it really only got um, physical sales, and then obviously signups through uh, Max and uh, Apple TV uh, bought monarch legacy the the series which the, the final episode just dropped for us yesterday and then uh netflix bought uh skull island which is an animated series so like they're like selling projects to other places I because, they're that trying too. To, <laughs> because they want they want to continue it because it's like a passion project for them like they're all so involved in it but it's expensive and it's not making a ton of money for them is that uh without spoiling anything you're going too in depth because as you know i'm going through the monsterverse movies right now where does um the Ghidorah show fall in the monsterverse the Ghidorah show what is no what is it called one that's on apple monarch, TV. Legacy? monarch monarch yeah that one where's that one monarch fall? legacy falls in between uh the 70s and then 2014 san francisco so it's it's like kind of like skull island era during like the vietnam war and stuff like that and then present day post san francisco so should i watch that before i watch godzilla versus kong you don't have to watch it i i would i would say if you enjoy the movies then go ahead and watch season one of monarch um but you, it's not a necessity to enjoy the movies at all. It just adds to it in retrospect. And then isn't there an animated series for Kong too? Yeah, it's called Skull Island on Netflix, yeah. Um, I, I can't get into that one. Boys, I've got a list here of some anticipated movies coming out this year. Oh, I'm going to go good. through these and you guys can stop me and tell me if you're hype or not, okay? I, yeah. Uh, out now, Mean Girls the musical. I'm actually I want to go see that in theaters really bad. I uh, won't be seeing it in theaters, but I'm very excited for it. It looks so good, and it's I mean it's produced by Tina or directed by Tina Fey again. So I mean, yeah. she, she can do no fucking wrong in my in my eyes. I love Tina Fey. Very um, talented. Argyle. Um, yes. Madam Web, which I'm not really. Uh, yeah madam webb and i think craven the hunters also this year it sony's is. attempt at a spider-verse franchise of movies that don't really actually correlate with any sort of spider-man is weird so having stuff like the venom movies having stuff like madam webb having stuff like craven the hunter it's just bizarre because they have highly successful uh, Spider Verse, but they're not bringing anybody live action from their two previous, being you know the Sam Raimi movies and the Mark Webb movies. They're not bringing in either Andrew or Toby to play Spider Man or a new one in general. I mean, there's a couple rumors as to uh, you know Adam McKay that he may be playing Peter Parker in the movie, but it's not confirmed. That could be interesting to have a middle aged Peter Parker. Uh, but they're really what you what you see in Sony's Spider Verse movies is essentially the '90s cartoon. That's where they're drawing all their inspiration from, and they're not actually looking into any inspiration from comics or any. Because Madam Web's not that important outside of the animated series. <laughs> like she's not that important, but they're just trying to capture something. Like with like Venom was a billion dollar movie. Morbius had the meme factor behind it. What is Madam Web going to bring other than it's probably going to do poorly both critically and financially? I don't. I unfortunately, I have no idea who the market for that is. Uh, Judas, other than the Spider Verse movies, Judas, are you into like the superhero flicks? I've, I don't think we ever really talked about those together kind of a interesting subject with me i was super into them like really heavily all of phase one i saw every movie the day it came out and then i just fell off after phase one i gave them 10 years of my life marvel had enough 
<laughs> I kind of feel the same. Like I watched all phase of them one. in phase one. So yeah. And I watched, I mean, of course I watched like, uh, no way home. And I seen guardians three, like the, the big I ones still, that kind of continued after phase one with our favorite characters. Yeah. I still want to go through and watch a couple of them. Like I, I still want to go through and watch guardians three. I haven't seen that. Um, Very far away from home was great though. And so was the new, uh, Dr. Strange monsters of madness or I haven't seen multiverse of madness yet. That one was amazing. I enjoyed that one too. Uh, Sam but, Raimi uh, returned to direct that, right? Yes, 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 yes. I need to see it. <laughs> I need to see it. I, I, I watch will that say, one. just as just a little bit of a, uh, just to save you guys' own butts, uh, for anybody who wants to correct, phase one is not, so Judah said phase one, 10 years. Uh, Phase one leads up to the Avengers, and then that's when it ends. Right. But up until Infinity, or up until Endgame, that is the Infinity Saga. That's like the ten year sort of. Yeah, like, that's what I mean. Yeah, that that right there. So after Endgame is when a lot of people, you know, dropped off because that's the introduction to Disney Plus and all of those original series, and and you know, a lot of fan favorite characters were leaving Captain America. Iron Man, Black Widow, which those are so hey. it's so hard to keep up with all that, too. It's like it, it's 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 like if you're in the the MCU, it's like you're in like you have to be dialed into it. And that's like like getting into the MCU is like a hobby in, of its own. Right. Like, oh, yeah. like movie watching. If you're if you're the, if you're like us, and we like to watch as many movies as possible. That's like our passion hobby. It's like if we were that dialed into the MCU, like that's all we would have time for a lot of the time. It's like it's nuts how big and deep it's impressive. I'm not trying to use this as a detraction from the MCU. It's very impressive that they've built this humongous universe of characters and stuff. And it to me, it really does feel that um, that comic book attitude. It feels like you're reading issues of comic books. If you're a comic book kid, then you're probably definitely going to be super happy with these MCU movies. I just feel like I don't have the time for them anymore. I don't have the energy to put into them. I am caught up on pretty much everything, but because you guys aren't really into that stuff, it's not a topic of conversation I bring up all too often, but that that's one of my main reasons into getting into movies was the MCU and how much I, adored the share universe and i would sit my butt down in each and every movie and watch it i mean that's where my uh my story from the episode with drew that we did where we were talking about weird movie theater experiences mine was in age of ultron and i found some person's cast just sitting in a chair i don't know it was a really great movie i guess because they just miraculously healed and left their cast behind that they cracked off from the look like it's such a bizarre experience, but I love the Marvel movies. I think that they're, they have not fallen off. It's that this Epic story that you followed for a very long time has effectively concluded. And just like a reboot, happens with mar with uh marvel and dc occasionally there's a new set of heroes that may hold the avengers moniker may hold the captain america um uh, name but they're not the same characters anymore there's a new set of avengers there's a new captain america um and it's there's there's some really really crappy projects as of recently Secret Wars, or not Secret Wars, sorry, um, Secret Invasion was piss poor. And you had Sam Jackson, and you made a piss poor excuse for a Secret Invasion storyline. But there's still some really good shit in there uh, in between all of the other, like, like Echo. Echo just dropped the other day, and it's the first deaf uh, led superhero project ever and the woman whatever nationality she is she's the first lead of her nationality as well which is really really cool especially being a woman that's a really cool series and they dropped it all as all at once like a, like a netflix series would and they did it on both hulu and disney plus and it's been getting great reviews but 
what are the chances you're going to tune in unless you are into the MCU right now? You're probably not going to just tune in for Echo. Um, if there's anything that's going to get me back, elapsed Marvel fan, back into that, it's going to be the Deadpool, or not Deadpool, uh, Daredevil coming into the MCU. Oh, yeah. Born Again. Born Again has so much behind the scenes crap that's going on. They just shelved like four or five of their episodes that they've already shot because they're going to rewrite a bunch of stuff. Uh, yeah, that, 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 that's going to be in production for a little bit longer. Um, but I can tell Judas has absolutely no yeah. care in the world. <laughs> <laughs> how he's, about he's we just like, he's some like... more movies that are coming out this year? <laughs> okay, I was see. listening. I went to speak a couple of times, but I just thought I'd let you go with your little rant there. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Shots fired. I don't need to be sorry. My bad. My bad. <laughs> Dune Part Two, um, Imaginary. Oh yes, actually, uh, that's a new John Krasinski movie, if I'm not mistaken. Um, is it? No. I know he's who's who's directing it. Uh, Jeff Wadlow. Is John Krasinski not in it at all? No. Who is the monster? Ryan. It's not a monster. It's about a teddy bear. Are we thinking of maybe we're thinking of a very different movie? Go left, right, right, <laughs> right. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're talking about if, aren't you? Oh, is that if? Maybe I'm talking thinking about that. If yeah. there's a new monster kid movie coming out. Okay, okay. Um. Uh, Kung Fu Panda 4. Yeah. That's so freaking lazy. Absolutely. Although, I do want to, I know I'm not supposed to see the rest of the Furious, but I do, I would like to see them in this movie. I know it's they supposed to be nothing. I know, I've seen their names, but the yeah. trailer kind of worried me. I was like, what the heck? Yeah. It, it will likely good. be a glorified cameo. Arthur the well, King. Oh, sorry, go ahead, Judy. Oh, I was just going to say, I found it funny because, uh, Jackie Chan did those movies, but he did them all the way from just recording the voiceover in China. And when he first met, uh, um, the freak, I forgot his name now. Jack Black. Yeah. Jack Black. Jack Black was in shock and of how much, how famous he was over there and stuff. <laughs> and how sh shocked Jackie Chan was to meet him. And he's like, no, you're the big star. No, you're the big star. We've been working together for what? 10 years and we've never met each other. <laughs> he's so great as cool monkey. Stuff. Monkey's a great character. Oh yeah. Arthur the King. I guess it's about King Arthur. Uh, I've never heard of it. Yeah. I don't know. The kid there's like there's three a, there's or four a, a day. Weird. <laughs> yeah, there there was a there was a movie a couple years ago called The Kid Who Would Be King that was, that was okay. okay. Had a really cool Merlin. I liked Merlin in that movie. But yeah, I'm, I wonder what kind of King Arthur story they want to tell this time. Last this one I liked was one with Clive Owen in it. It's got Mikey Mark in it. Mikey Mark Wahlberg. Are you kidding? I'm number one movie of the year. Oh, yo, like, it's it's got Simu Liu in it. Isn't that a uh, oh, uh, Shang Chen? Shang Chi. Yeah, it's uh, what's his name from Kim's Convenience? Uh, and oh, Ken, cool. Ken from Barbie. Yeah, <laughs> Zhang. Uh, yeah, Zhang, Zhang. Um. Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. That looks I'm amazing. I'm excited for it. Godzilla vs. Kong New Empire. Um, there is one I found out I'm super excited for. I'm hoping it's on your list. because It just run. needs to be on that list. No, run. I'm going to wait. Okay. Read. The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. I it's felt like I heard the title, but I haven't actually seen it yet. Or anything about it yet. New Guy Ritchie movie. It's got Henry Cavill in it. Okay. Oh. He's in a lot this year. Um, Is he as bad? Challengers. The new Zendaya movie. No. Oh. oh, that's a tennis movie. It's a tennis movie, if I'm not mistaken. She is like the coach or like a trainer. And she ends up having like a duo relationship with these two tennis 
it's like they're ba- it's like, like they're just- based on the picture yeah yeah okay yeah yeah i know a lot of people are 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 dogging on uh tom holland and uh about his girl <laughs> kissing these two guys in this trailer it's just like what uh civil war it's, a, it's alex garland's new movie starring kirsten dunst kirsten dunst is gonna, gonna fight in the civil war <laughs> holy <Which side>? shit <laughs> It's not about the American Civil War. It says um, the United States plunged into a civil war. Well, it is American, but it's a newer one. Uh, film's official description calls it a race to the White House in a near future America balanced on the razor's edge. Is it the sequel to The Purge? It might be the prequel. Uh, <laughs> We've already gotten the first Purge. The Fall Guy with... Uh, Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt, directed by David Leach. It has pretty imagery, but it hasn't caught my attention yet. Yeah, I feel like I remember hearing whispers about that. Yeah, I saw I saw this in the uh the trailer for this um in theaters when I went to see Godzilla. Um former stuntman who previously Elmed, John Wick, Atomic Blonde, Deadpool 2, and Hobbs and Shaw is tackling a film adaptation of an 80s TV show about a stuntman who moonlights as a bounty hunter. That sounds pretty wild. That might be something special. Mm -hmm. That might be a sleeper, for sure. Uh, This one, do you guys like Amy Winehouse? Yeah, her biopic's coming out this year. Yeah, Back to Black. Her life was so fucking tragic, man. That's that that ought to be good. I think that'd be pretty good. Could be some good Oscar bait. We might have a best actress, best act. act. Yep, she's probably gonna get nominated for sure. Here, here we go. Here we go. Zed the Megzilla's favorite, most looked forward to movie of the year, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. I am very excited for that one. I really, really am. I This year is like tailor-made for me in a lot of ways. There's a lot of stuff that is within Zed's special interests. I'm very excited. Uh, here's that If movie, the John Krasinski starring uh, Ryan Reynolds and Krasinski himself. And Steve Corral Steve? and Matt Damon and Emily I Blunt and Maya crazy. Rudolph and Aquafina. Okay, I'm seeing this movie. That's a fucking yeah, stacked cast, bro. Crazy. Holy Aquafina shit. Aquafina gets so much hate for no reason. I love Aquafina so much. What'd you I think say? It tastes, I think it tastes nasty. Sony <laughs> is a little bit better these days, but I would still say Aquafina is still as just as refreshing as ever. I can't I can't say what my favorite water is. I get I get lynched. <laughs> Smart water, Fiji? What are you talking about? Arrowhead. Never heard of it. Arrowhead? Yeah. Apparently, I, I don't know. I haven't looked into it, but Arrowhead's my favorite water. We've always gotten it in California. Um it tastes better to me i don't know they all have different mineral tastes but this one tastes good to me i can chug this shit like it's soda but apparently it's like a an illegal owned place where they got the water from someone i was like ah, i don't know anything about that it's still on the shelves in my walmart i'll get it whoops nestle water is still on the shelves in your in your walmart and they're like the most evil corporation <laughs> in the fucking world so <laughs> that's true <laughs> um Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. I didn't yeah. even know this was coming. That looks really cool. Oh, yes. By the oh, they way. They announced it like the minute Mad Max was over. Um, Judas, you just watched the Black and Chrome edition of Fury Road, right? Yes, uh, I did. You, don't worry. This will come out after your R4R. Yeah, yeah, I already go, y'all go check out Judas's TikTok page. He is going to have his awesome series role for review. Uh, he's doing a he did a Mad Max Fury Road R4R with that. Uh, I'm we haven't seen it yet as the recording of this, but I'm sure it's going to be excellent because Judas makes the best content. Um, ah, here's mark my words. This will be a sleeper because the last two movies were buried. The uh-huh. Garfield movie. Oh, okay. Ooh, I'm excited for that one to be one. honest. I think a lot of people are going to go see it just because they want to hear Chris Pratt as Garfield. And 
it's going to be big. I mean, they're coming off of one of the highest grossing animated movies of all time. I think it might be the highest grossing now with the Mario Bros movie. Yeah. He is known for another huge franchise with the Lego movie. He is uh, an actor that's going to be is, people are not going to people don't like it already. Hey, and Sam, go, Sam like, Jackson's in it, though. Sam Jackson's in it. Yeah, okay, both okay, I got two things to say now. One, going back to the Sam Jackson thing, Zed said that earlier, saying like, oh, they had Sam Jackson and still fucked it up. You guys forget that man just signs up for everything. I'm pretty sure his number for being on a movie is just written on the bathroom walls of directors' bathrooms. Because that bitch is in everything good and bad. It doesn't have to be good just because Sam Jackson's in it. <laughs> kind of like well, Nicolas Cage. I feel like... Yeah. Who is Sam Jackson playing? Is it like the three lines that Odie that Odie says randomly in the movie? Like who? Is, what is Sam Jackson's character? Is he going to be? Does he look a like a bitch? Cameo? Let me look it up. It's the only line he says in the movie. Guys, we, you know I, how you know how on Joe Rogan, like he has like the guy that like controls like like the producer that controls like all like. Hey, look that up. Pull that up on the screen for me. We need we need one of those. Yeah, Tao needs a job. I, I've heard. <laughs> Let's see, Garfield. Yeah, I hear his podcast. He's a part of. It. He's not happy with him. So I, uh, I am, I am not a massive Garfield fan. Like I liked the funnies when I saw them, uh, when I read them as a kid. Um, but he, I don't know this character, Vic. Sam Jackson plays Vic. Who is Vic? Who is Vic? Why do we care about Vic? Oh, Sam Jackson should have played the dog. Odie, I said that. Is it going to be like when Odie talks for like three lines? Is it going to be Sam Jackson's voice? You know, Uh, it's going to be. Odie is voiced by Greg Berger. Who's Greg Berger? What's Greg been on doing? He's still He he has voiced Odie for in, in numerous garfield cartoons and television shows well welcome back burger for years it's Um, like when they brought back uh, the the woman that voices tails for sonic 2 the live action one i'm super hyped for two reasons one ving rhymes is in this movie it 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 doesn't say what he plays um but also uh if you guys like ted lasso uh hannah waddingham uh who played the boss lady in ted lasso and brett goldstein who played Roy fucking Kent and Ted Lasso are also in this movie reuniting. That's fucking cool. This movie is probably going to do okay. I don't see it doing massive. I think it's going to be a sleeper. Wrong. This movie will be the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Manhattan of 2024. Uh, Mutant Mutant Mayhem. Interesting choice of words. That's a good choice. Uh, But what I will, I will say, I'll probably enjoy it. I love I love the I love the Bill Murray Garfield movies. They're well, both I will, so fun. I'll say this. I am happy of Chris Pratt's voice. I mean, everyone bitched about Mario's, and I will say I was on that train. I didn't like it until I saw the beginning intro where they did the trailer and they had the voice and they came out and they're like, Oh, well, the voice wasn't bad. That was cool. They kind of made their own excuse for it because yes, in the old Mario movie, Mario was in New York. Mario was just a New Yorker. Same with this one. They kind of kept it the same. They kind of kept a lot of the similars from the live action, which I'm going to do in a whole different episode. But when I heard Chris Pratt's voice, I was like, well, this actually sounds good for Garfield, to be honest. Garfield always did kind of sound a little dull and like this. I liked it. I don't know why yeah. everyone's complaining about it. It may be fine. It may be fine. I, I, But I am now partial to what Bill Murray gave to the, to the role because Bill is so dry. And Garfield is a very dry character. He is, you know, that's just his. He does not like to be wet. Well, no, yep, no wet. Yep, not going to say that word. (laughs) He he likes. Uh, He likes. Likes lasagna. Hates Mondays. We get it. Um, Moving on, uh, John Wick spinoff, ballerina, starring Anna de Armas, Armas. and Keanu Reeves is making his return. Also starring Ian McShane, Lance Riddick. Uh, Norman Reedus and Angelica Houston and Gabriel Byrne. That should be. Cool. It'll probably do pretty well. I don't know if it's gonna, because right now, like the Continental, 
on, I believe, Peacock has been out for a little while, and it really didn't make much noise, and that was the first in the world of John Wick story. Uh, it was it was a series, so, I mean, you know, it, it, maybe it's not the, the audience. Uh, maybe audiences just want a movie still, but I think that with Ana de Armas being the talent that she is, she's a huge star, has potential of doing fairly well for an action-led sure. uh, movie. Uh, Bad Boys 4. I've seen the first Bad Boys, haven't seen the other ones. First and second one were cool. I didn't really care for the third one that much. Yeah. Inside Out 2. Yes! Excellent. Very excited for that one. Very excited for that one. Unfortunately, Pete Doctor's not back in the director's seat, but hopefully it's still a uh, a good watch. Um, The Bike Riders, which is starring... It's a new Jeff Nichols film. Starring Austin Bo- Austin Butler, Jody Comer, Tom Hardy, um, Michael Shannon. Which can we just give a shout out to Michael fucking Shannon? Because that is one of, that dude is one of the most underrated actors in Hollywood. I feel. Hell yeah. Mike faced Norman Reedus again in Boyd Holbrook. Um, a Quiet Place Day One. Not gonna have, I don't think, any of the people from the first two Quiet Place movies. So, and the, to me, those are kind of what made those movies. <laughs> yes. Uh, I don't think even, I think Krasinski's back in a producer role, even. I don't think he's even back in the director's seat, but I could be wrong. Really? So I think he's, I think he's just doing that imaginary friend movie this year. I'm gonna pass. I thought they were dumb. I liked the you first one. Yell at me later. I even hated the first one. Um, <laughs> Despicable Me, the De- De- Despicable Me Four. I love those I'll movies. Watch all, it. They are exactly what you sign up for, and I'm here for it. That's why I'm gonna kind of watch it because I hate the Despicable Me's, but I love the Minion movies. <laughs> so that, that's a little bit ass backwards. I love yeah, them all, right? but usually Despicable Me is where people are like, mm, "There we go." Um, Twisters. Twisters, the the long awaited sequel to Twister. Absolutely, wow. bringing back. Didn't know that was uh, coming. Yeah, she's coming. What's her name? Uh, Daisy Edgar Jones. No, not uh, is that the lead of it or is that the director? No, that's the lead, and then Glenn Powell, Anthony Ramos, Brandon oh, Pereira. Ramos, I mean it. Okay, uh, and Mara Tierney. Okay, very cool. Interesting. Yeah, so this is this is very much so like a legacy sequel. Probably not oh, gonna yeah. be very many uh I hate the poster is the exact same thing. It's yeah. probably not an official poster yet. I don't think they've released anything official for it. Okay. <laughs> Deadpool three. Yeah, I think everyone uh, everyone is anxiously awaiting that one. I could hate Marvel and still watch it. This is something that I'm very looking forward to. This looks like it's gonna be fucking awesome. And that is the Borderlands movie uh, from Eli Roth. Um, yeah. Eli Roth is doing it. <laughs> it's starring Kate Blanchett. That's a fucking win. Kevin Hart. That's a fucking win. Jack Black. That's a fucking win. Ariana Greenblatt. I don't know who that is. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. That's a fucking win. Edgar Ramirez. I don't know who that is. Haley Bennett and Florian Montenu. I don't know how to pronounce that name. Uh, but Kevin Hart, Jack Black, Kate Blanchett, and Jamie Lee Curtis. Like, with a cast like that, what the fuck are you gonna make? I think that they're. It's mostly gonna be a CG movie. I don't think they're actually gonna be like. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Oh well, yeah. Okay. They all do a lot of voice acting. Never mind. Didn't I even think, think of that. I was I thinking of live action. I was like, this is gonna be one of the most stupidest comedy bloody things I've ever seen. Have you played I the think... games, Judas? Yes, of course. Love them all. I don't know who Jack Black is playing, but I really hope he plays Marcus. Wait, so is it going to be based off the games or is it going to be in its own story? Because all the games are kind of a brand new story, brand new characters. So I figured they'd kind of do that with the movie. Yeah, they're new. They're new vault hunters, but they're the there's they they have the same like world characters like Marcus oh, okay. and um. Oh well, yeah, yeah. Catch a rat and Tiny Tina and Moxie and stuff like those. Are, those are reoccurring characters. I really fucking hope that Jack Black is voicing Marcus. That would be so cool. I know great. that Kevin Hart is claptrap. That makes Ew. sense. 
That makes sense. And that makes it sense. Makes sense out of the cast, but I don't know. Kevin Hart is just so fucking overplayed right now, and his comedy routine is exactly the same every time. I don't watch Kevin movies, Hart's comedy. Just... I I I see. Well, no, that's what movies. I mean. Is in his movies, his movies like a lot of the comedy he gets to do is improv and stuff, or it comes from a derivative from his own jokes. He's a megastar, though. What do you expect? Like the 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 megastars so do the get on same my knees and thing. Suck Yes, yes, you do. Same. <laughs> so I just have to like your shit, mega and, star, and open your bunghole for Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Okay. Oh, I'll do that any day. That smoldering look. Take me in the jungle, Rock. Take me in the jungle. That there was a name in there. I don't know how to pronounce the last name. But by the Ariana Greenblatt, she is America Ferrera's daughter in Barbie. She's also. Oh yeah, she was really good in Barbie. She's also, she was also Ahsoka and the young Ahsoka. And she's also young Gamora. So oh, she's had, or, and she's also she's something, she was in something else too, but she's sort of had like a really big, because she was back with uh, Jenna Ortega in the Disney Channel days, and they both sort of like blew up at the exact same time. Um, and they're both in a bunch of stuff right now. <laughs> um, Untitled Alien movie. It's only been oh, a. I'm so sick for that one. Yeah. There's only mm. been a um, teaser for it that's that had a face hugger and said "Happy Alien Day" with a yeah. with a film clapper. I thought it was titled, but I guess I must must have been like watching a fan made trailer or like I saw a thumbnail for a fan made trailer. If they have I announced think... a title, then this then this list is outdated. Okay. Um, Craven the Hunter. Um, here's probably. My most look yeah, forward to. Yeah, they did have movie. a name for it. That's right. Romulus. What is it? What is it Romulus. Yeah, Romulus. Romulus. Alien Romulus. Yeah. Okay. Probably my my most look forward to sequel or well, just movie is is the sequel is is Beetlejuice two. If that oh, even. Oh, 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 oh. Jenna Ortega. I We're just yeah. talking about her. She's playing Lydia's daughter. I kind of feel like that that might that. get pushed out of 2024 though because of the strikes i I feel like they might push that no they finished it they finished it okay they had one day of shooting left before the strikes and they picked it up and uh they finished it now it's in post-production it should still make a headline gotcha um transformers one yeah that's that one i believe is uh chris hemsworth as Optimus Prime. It's Scarlett Johansson, Brian Tyler, Henry, John Hamm, Lawrence Fishburne, and Keegan Michael Key. Yeah, so that that's gonna be an animated movie. Um, if I'm not mistaken. It's not gonna be one of the live action movies. That those are still continuing on with like Hasbro's big like multi universe collaboration, big old thing. That's still going on with Peter Cullen as Optimus Prime. This is a totally different uh uh beast um untitled saw sequel which um, yeah that was named right after the success of saw x they basically it? announced it like as it was still in theaters here's here's gonna be a really big one i feel uh joker folly i do that one has potential. I mean, it was already a billion dollar movie, highest grossing as we learned earlier together, JT highest grossing R rated movie. I think the um, fucking Lady Gaga as Harley Quinn is gonna be awesome. Fucking amazing. That's, yeah, I mean wait, Lady Gaga, Harley Quinn? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Lady Gaga's playing Harley. That's fucking yeah. cool. See, now that's something I can get behind. Yeah. She's a weirdo. I like yeah yeah the the trailer for it is pretty bizarre too it, yeah it, it should be a fun fun watch um terrifier three who cares venom three gladiator i wanted two. to be excited for it. yes there you go you said it thank you for saying it we'll get to gladiator two probably in a get second pushed. yeah go ahead go back go back one zed had a thought on venom three Here's the thing. Andy Circus was brought on to bring a little bit of something, something to Venom 2. Woody Harrelson as Carnage. That movie is just, it's just, it's just fine. It's, it's so quick. It's very short. It's very fast paced. 
it, there's just not i get it venom was a surprise billion dollar movie nobody expected it but like if andy circus can't bring to life like computer generated cgi characters and make them badass and fun and whatever he is he is the he is the the all father to motion capture and he couldn't really make anything out of venom 2 venom 3 is just them trying to continue milking out these spider-man movies that have nothing to do with spider-man it's it's just it is what it is I don't yeah, think it's going to do very well. I, I was just going to agree with you. With my disappointment of Venom 2, I'm not really looking forward to 3 and don't think 3 is really going to do too well. We have just a few minutes left. We're going to go over the hour for sure because I do want to get through the rest of this this list and talk about these a little bit more briefly. But before we get through the rest of this list, uh, Judas, I know Gladiator is one of your favorite movies of all time. So oh, yeah. I'm I'm going to give you, I'm going to mute my mic Zed's going to do the same and we're going to give you uninterrupted time to word vomit about gladiator and your hype for gladiator too. Go for uh, it, buddy. Uh, well, well you see, there's this guy named Scott Ridley, Rid- Ridley, Ridley Scott, and he makes movies. He, he movies with video cameras and, and the, the gladiators guys with swords Ching ching, yeah. Like once a slave, slave from soldier to slave, from slave to gladiator. <laughs> okay, no, for reals though, Gladiator Two. I've been really looking forward to. Um, they've always been messing around with the story. They've always kind of joked around making it. Ridley Scott for the longest said, "I kind of don't want to. I kind of really do want to." Kept going back and forth, and then they finally settled on a story of making Lucius, which was Maximus' uh, son. Um, so the second story is going to follow his son after, right after Maximus dies at the end of the first one. Um, it, it's not a spoilers. It's the synopsis for the movie. <laughs> Probably going to show it in the trailer. My biggest disappointment is there's there's so far as this skepticals going around who's playing who and things like that. Um, IMDb does have a list up and. I have it right here because I can't remember the guy's fucking name. I'm not too big on Paul Masella or whatever, but I'll have to see. Because, I mean, it's still Ridley Scott doing Gladiator, and Gladiator and Ridley Scott match well together. Like I said, Scott Ridley video camera movies. Go. Fuck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's such a point. You're a poet. Can I I get an amen? Can I get an amen, amen? Can I get an amen? You know amen. What? Come on you know now. What? You know what? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I get a? All oh my cum guzzling thunder cunts. Amen. Amen. There we go. Can I get an amen for that? That was beautifully said. Uh, <laughs> Wicked Part One, which we mentioned yeah. earlier. That's that's yep, fucking amazing. Yep. Uh, not too big yep, of a fan yeah. that they're gonna split it into multiple parts. Honestly, I'm okay with that. The 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 musical is already a fairly long uh show and there's an intermission with that and i feel like if they can it's it's the world of odds like yeah. they have a plenty of they have plenty of you know source material to pull from even though this is like a totally original story there's still a full world of, and land of oz to, to pull from so why not if you have a chance to make a wizard of oz movie but it's through, you know, the the a, a retelling, a reimagining of Wicked. Do two parts, do three parts, do four, whatever. Take me back to the land of Oz. I want to go back. I agree. Yeah, but... I'm so glad that Oz is coming back into the public eye. Like it's that's a very exciting thing. Yeah, especially with how much, like you said, there's source material and everything there is about there's it. Plenty for them to. I, there's plenty for them to 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 delve into. Why not? Did you guys watch the show they had on a few years ago? I think it was called Emerald City. Emerald and, City, yeah. Yeah, that it oh. ended. It ended so fucking abruptly. It got canceled. It yeah, was it such a canceled. wicked cool show, man. Fucking unfortunate. Yeah, um, yeah there, 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 there's a there's a uh, a Zoe De Chanel show I think called like it, it, it's a, she plays Dorothy. And it's a, it's a it's a mini series that they did. It's like called Yellow Brick or something of that nature. I don't remember what it was called, but there's 
a lot of odd shows out there are a re representation throughout media, but like we haven't been back to Oz since the great and powerful and I'm fucking ready. I'm such a big fan. Um, plus it's got Ariana Grande in it. She's going to fucking kill it. She's sure. playing, she's playing uh, Glenda. Yeah. All right. Moving into December, we got the karate kid. Yeah. Re, re Super excited. Yeah, they're reintroducing all of the classic characters that we know and love for a new generation. And it's, I don't know. They're crossing the, over the Jackie Chan and the and the Ralph Macchio. Yeah, yeah. that's kind of cool. Yeah, which is interesting. I don't know. Is it is already been confirmed? Is this a? Because I know the Karate Kid series for Netflix is a spiritual successor uh, to the Karate Kid trilogy. Is this going to be a sequel to? the cobra kai show on netflix so i'll read you what it says here it says the popular netflix series cobra kai has helped keep the iconic 80s martial arts franchise alive and kicking in the popular consciousness and in 2024 sunny will head back to the ip dojo with a new installment originally thought to be unconnected to the original films or the later netflix show a casting call announcement revealed that ralph macchio and jackie chan would star along each other in the new film as their characters daniel Larusso and mr han few other details have been revealed. that's all we know so far okay. what so i will this say is, is a this, crossover yeah what i'll say is this just don't call it the karate kid give it its own identity i am i don't like when you bring back scream and just call it Scream. Halloween and just call it Halloween. If these are a sequel or anything, just give it its own original identity and don't just call it the Karate Kid again. It get, it's too much. It's too convoluted at that point. By the way, I think you were talking about Tin Man. Tin Man! Very good! Yes, it was. That was a very fun miniseries. I could see the poster of her on the cover. I was like, yeah, she was in something with Oz, but what the hell was it? Tin yeah, man, yeah. It was Tin Man. Because take a yeah, it, I don't want to spoil anything. It's it's a really good mini series. It's a lot of fun. But anyway, I think it's only like three or four episodes too. So yeah, it's very short. Quick shout out to our good friend of the pod, the Anxious Hobbit, on TikTok because I'm sure that she is going to be insanely excited for this. The Lord of the Rings, the War of Rohirrim. I'm not sure if I pronounced that. When ha when did they start making this one? <laughs> because I know Amazon Yesterday. has the Ring of Power series, but if they're bringing us a new Lord of the Rings movie, when did they start making it? Because... It's already got a release date, baby, December 13th, 2024. It's got a okay, director, so it Kenji, Kenji Kamiyama, uh, it's starring Brian Cox and Miranda Otto. It says Warner Bro it's from Warner Bros. Uh, latest film, the Lord of the Rings universe is this Oh, it's an animated prequel that follows the exploits of Helm Hammerhand, the legendary king of Rohan, home of the horsemen known as the Rohirrim. That, God damn it. Tolkien, why'd you have to make your shit so fucking hard to pronounce? <laughs> fucking asshole. Uh, that played a big part in Lord of the Rings Two Towers. Brian Cox will lend his voice to the central character who reigned 183, films, 183 years before the events of the two towers while the later films miranda otto reprises her role of ewan who will serve as a framing device for the story so it's an animated film that's, that's interesting that's really interesting okay yeah. interesting okay very good uh we are getting mufasa the lion king yeah December i'm interested 20th. to see what that's going to be because it looks like it deletes lion king 2 is this going to be it a bothers me this is a uh, hundred percent computer generated and not actually live action, which it's is a, how the it's a prequel to how Mufasa became the king and his relationships with Scar and then because they're brothers and and going to dive deep into his. That's what that's how I it's it's supposed to be a like how did they how did they become or how did Mufasa become king of Pride Rock. And uh, that's what I am on. Uh, okay. Uh, no, I read it completely wrong. Okay, that's better then. Thank you. I read it as Simba had a son who was training him to oh. be king. I was like, no, he had no. a fucking daughter. No, the so here, here's, one thing, princess. here's my one question, though. Since James Earl Jones has signed away 
his voice in perpetuity uh, to Lucasfilm. He is getting older. He could still provide a flash forward scene for Mufasa in this movie. Are they going to bring back James Earl Jones to voice Mufasa once again? Or are they going to use AI to give Mufasa an older performance? That's what I'm wondering if they're going to dabble in for the first time. Because the whole reason really why they signed over or James Earl Jones signed over his voice was for Darth Vader. That they didn't want to replace Darth Vader. They always wanted it to be James Earl Jones, which I am of the thought, pass it on. There is somebody out there who should be playing Darth Vader and they should now be like it's it's a role that should be passed on just like any other role. There's there's not a single person that should have a chokehold over one character. There's plenty of people who knew who need jobs out there, but are Disney going? Because I don't know. I mean, I I would presume with how popular James Earl Jones's Mufasa is, we will have to see an adult Mufasa at some point. I think that that yeah. the whole AI debate too is a fucking topic for a whole other episode because we can make a whole episode on on ai my question is does hans zimmer just do the music for every movie ever existed because i watched mad max he did the music for the mad max and then right after i finished it my wife put on this rom rom rom-com that had uh what's his jack nicholson in it and some other old people i wasn't really too interested in it it was okay but it, hans zimmer did the music for that too i was like wow you're just all over the place and now i'm looking it up he does the music for he's going to be returning to do the music for mufasa as well the so answer to, the answer to that is yes judas hans zimmer does do it all films that were composed by john williams and danny elfman were just hans zimmer wearing a mask absolutely um, fair enough i figured they didn't sound like oingo, oingo boingo can't say that title apparently that was hard um sonic the hedgehog 3 eh. i'm excited to yeah. see shadow that's a, that's kind of cool but yeah i i think those movies are a lot of fun sonic and sonic 2 are just fun times there's nothing wrong with just having a good time now we're going to be introduced to shadow as the main uh, villain Jim Carrey's gone, and I hope they stay that way. I hope that he can just retire the character and not bring it back. I am perfectly okay with Eggman being gone. Um, but yeah, I know that they filmed because of the actor strike. They filmed all of the other scenes that don't have any of the actual actors in them, and then they're going to go back and shoot all of the actor scenes post strike. So I think they're probably in the midst of like getting all of the actual actor stuff shot. See, being a Sonic fan, I'm kind of bummed they got rid of Robotnik so soon because there's still a lot more cool things he does in this timeline of Sonic with Shadow as well. They like, could the team up with Shadow and Sonic against Robotnik is never going to happen now. Well, They'll probably team up with something never, else. But... I just don't think it's going to be under the guidance of Jim Carrey's performance. Oh, fair. I That's think fair. that he is. I think that he is fairly steadfast in the fact that he is retired. Um, Speaking of so. eggs and eggheads, let's switch gears to egg, 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 Eggers, Robert Eggers, Nosferatu. Yes, definitely that excited for that one. I've been waiting for that for a long time. Oh yeah, That's coming out on Christmas. I, <laughs> I. This is a discussion for another day too. But I am morally a against going to the movie theater on christmas i think that christmas day should be a day that everybody in the country has off of work i don't think that theater employees should have to work on i agree this day. but we have no control in it might as well make them going to work worth something <clears throat> they have yeah. to go to work either way yeah but i feel like if most if most people were like fuck that and didn't go then maybe theaters would be like okay well okay never or maybe the movie industry would be like all right well, movies aren't doing good opening on Christmas, so let's not fucking do you it. You got to remember, Christmas is the loneliest holiday of the year. 
the highest suicide rate of the year. So they try to do their part of, you know, people are lonely. Let's give them somewhere to go. That's such Same a double-edged like sword. Doing. That's There's such a so is. many people that don't celebrate Christmas. That's and they. Hey, and we're not talking about that right now, right? No, I'm just kidding. But but I'm but I'm saying there are so many folks that don't celebrate that holiday, and I don't, you know, I don't. That's right. Good, right. But but it goes beyond that for me. This is like I, I want to try to keep this brief. I don't I don't want to get into this too deep. Um, but to me, regardless of if you celebrate it as a holiday, I think that it's fucking nice that everything shuts down for one day a year so you can be and do what the if you want to fucking be alone and jerk off all day you can do that if you want to be with your family you can do that if you want to celebrate christmas you can do that i just think that there needs to be a day where nobody fucking works god damn it okay it was supposed to be yeah you're, you're right it would be a very tough sell you're, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, I, the the point, the fucking point is, is I'm looking forward to Nosferatu. It's probably one of my, and it's in my top five most most like anticipated of the year. Eggers is one of my favorite upcoming directors. Period. He's oh he's my great. favorite vampire completely. And after watching that, he did the Lighthouse, right? Yeah, he did the Lighthouse, the yeah. Vavitch, and the Northman. This is his fourth. Yeah, film. I was gonna say he's gonna blow this out of the fucking park. His detail. His attention to detail for costuming and set design and stuff, like, it's fucking phenomenal. Like, this movie is going to visually be so goddamn cool to look at. Like, he sees in black and white. He already knows what it's going to look like. He just mm. picks it out. That's true. Yeah. The way that he sources his his, uh, his movies is pretty intense, and it's 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 admirable. Yeah, that <laughs> movie's going to be killer. You got Willem Dafoe. You got... Uh, Bonnie uh, Taylor-Joy, Lily Rose Bonnie Depp. Joy. And is it... Which Skarsgård brother is it? Is Bill. it Bill? Bill. Okay. Yeah, and that's that's going to be something quite special. And it's going to introduce a lot of people back into Nosferatu. For a lot of folks, the last time Nosferatu was mentioned to them was in SpongeBob SquarePants. So it's going to be a really great reintroduction to the character all these years later. Um. One that has recently been, unfortunately, delayed indefinitely. We don't know when it's going to come out. Hopefully mm. still in 2024. Uh, Mickey 17, Bong Joon-ho's new film starring Robert Pattinson, uh, Naomi Aki, Tony Collette, Mark Ruffalo, and Steven Yoon. No, um, I'll be seeing that. Oh, yeah. Dude, Bong Joon-ho is such a freaking good director. Oh, my God. Um, Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse. Definitely, definitely looking forward to that. The I will be watching it in theaters. Yes. Um, and the last one on the list, Beverly Hills Cop Axel F. <laughs> Hell I'm yeah. interested to see how that's going to turn out to be. I yeah, I think it, that it'll be. I think it'll be good. It could be better good. have a crazy frog somewhere in there, just like a little hidden somewhere. I don't care if it's a little toy, just something hidden. It's They're going to use the title weird. of the song even, so. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a pretty big movie for Netflix. Um, and it's reuniting a large chunk of the cast. So I I think that the Beverly Hill movies are pretty good. Beverly Hill Cop movies are pretty good. Uh, but I'm just more excited to see Eddie Murphy just in anything. Like, all of his recent stuff, I've just en- I haven't seen uh his jonah hill movie on netflix you people i haven't watched that one but i've watched all of his recent stuff ever since he came out of retirement with dolomite is my name which is a beautiful netflix movie uh so yeah it's gonna be it it has potential to be a lot of fun if done properly has to be a really good legacy sequel to catch catch capture people's attentions because coming to america was not it for me oh, it was not it i was i had such high hopes for that movie because i loved the first one i watched that the day it dropped on it was, what was it, amazon prime yep yeah <clears throat> yeah it was not good underwhelming yeah well, 
That's the list of new movies coming out in 2024, boys. Let's move to 2025. Zed, you excited for the Meg oh, the Meg 3? Heck yeah, let's do this. The Meg 3! Come on now! Hell yeah, the Meg is going to space, baby. <laughs> Imagine s- sending a Megalodon at an asteroid, being like, come on, figure it out, bro. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting two. It's pretty shocking to me that not a single Disney movie was on there besides Inside Out. And that and Lion uh, King. Oh, Lion King. That's right. That's right. But there, there's a couple Pixar movies coming out, uh, and a, a couple other Disney movies coming out, and also not a damn love or appreciation for any of my Universal monsters. Not a damn one. That is infuriating. But I'm also very happy because there's a lot of other cool stuff. All right, everybody. Uh, Judas, you played us in, so play us out, my friend. <laughs> That was our episode of Masters of Matinee. Thank you guys for listening. This has been JT the Talking Head, Zedzilla, and Judas from Cinema Closet. Thank you guys. As always, you are the audience. Happy birthday. Now for something completely different. Masters. 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 Of Mabinay. Masters of Mabinay. Starring Drew these Dippies movies, Judas Cinema Closet, JT the Talking Head, Tara the Terminator, and Zetsuo movies. Masters of Madden Movies.